This is how I see it. As we wade through the current unpleasantness, going from citizens to consumers in silent supermajority, nobody notices that Lady Liberty has the symptoms of fascist thinking. Diagnosed by a desire for those in power to play upon the fears and vanities of different groups, they do this to gain power. They have an appeal to prejudice. It strengthens and allows the modern tyrant to grow. They hold views just like the other great haters in history. They preach discrimination against other religions, racial or economic groups. They boast of patriotism and are most easily recognized by their deliberate perversion of truth and fact. At every turn, they impugn democracy, using isolationism as a slogan to conceal their own imperialism. They cultivate hate and distrust, screaming to a red in the face that they are super patriots, but they would destroy every liberty guaranteed by the Constitution. Their newspapers and their propaganda media machine, which they control, carefully cultivate every issue without foundation in fact. They demand free enterprise, but secretly champion monopolies and vested interest, constantly attacking progressives in America. Under Biden, they captured 69 and 99 seats, turning them Democrat, greater than any other time in history. Now that they have captured political power, they can use the power of the state and the power of the market simultaneously. It keeps the common man in eternal subjection. For monopolies distrust competition and fear democracy because it stands for equal opportunity and would do anything to secure their position against enterprise in an effort to eliminate any rival ever going up against them. Some companies would even sacrifice democracy itself. Right now, it's violence and deceit, not reason and decency. We cannot tolerate an oppressive government or industrial oligarchy in the form of a monopoly or a cartel. As living standards go up, the potential for liberty increases. So speed up the rate of economic growth and political invention, giving the common man a chance. Fascism has captured the outlook of Wall Street, Main Street, and Middle America. It is a disease. We must constantly be on guard against intolerance, bigotry, and the prevention of the individual. This is common sense for common people in an uncommon era. Trust your fellow countrymen. Hold no ill will towards any. Pursue happiness. By keeping democracy a reality, you gain freedom just for trying.